Hey guys, this is Evie and welcome back to my channel. So for this look, I'm using Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic along with this turquoise and gold glitter mix. And both of these are available at longcareprettynails.com. I'm also using these dried flowers from banggood.com and these gold caviar beads i cannot remember where i got them but if i do i will put the link down below and also this gold foil and this is from beauty big bang all right so these are the tips that i'll be using and i'm going to be applying them using the ibd brush on nail glue and i just like to apply a little bit on the well and then apply it to my nail i've been getting a lot more requests to do nails with tips so i just want to show you guys how i do that i prefer sculpting the nails because i just think they look a whole lot better and you don't see any of the demarcation from the tips but you know but anyway these are really good quality tips i got these from sally's and i love that they are super clear um, it just makes your glass tips look like glass you know all right so once i have them all on i am just going to trim them down using my nail clipper and i just like to clip both sides of the tips and then twist them off um, and then i'm just going to do my shaping all right, so once I have the shaping done, I'm just gonna go in with the Nail Nails Nail Prep Dehydrator and then a coat of No Lift Nails Primer. And I'm gonna start off with the Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic. And I'm just gonna use that to build up this entire nail. And FYI, I get questions about this glass diamond that I use um, for my nails and all of that. This is the Nelfi Diamond and it is available at longcareprettynails.com. I will leave the link down below. So yes, I am working with my non-dominant hand. Uh, for those who don't know, I am left-handed and so I am using my right hand and I'm working on my left hand. Um, it took a lot of um, practice and time to be able to do it. So I do get requests a lot to work with my non-dominant hand. And if some of you guys haven't noticed, um, most of my nail videos are done with my right hand. Um, I do different designs on each hand just so I can pump out more videos. And yeah, I work with my non-dominant hand a lot. Um, it just took a lot of time and practice. It probably took me a good year to be able to do my non-dominant hand to where it looks flawless and just as good as my dominant hand. Okay, so moving on to my ring fingernail, I'm just going to put down a thin layer of the Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic. And then I'm going in with this beautiful turquoise and gold glitter mix. And I'm just using the tip of my brush to place all the little glitter bits where I want them to be. Um, Cause this is gonna be the background to my flower design. And then I'm taking the gold foil and I'm just placing that where I want it to be. And taking this dried flower and just tiny beads of clear um, just to hold that in place. And I'm doing the same thing for this larger flower. Um, there's different tips that you can use in order to apply the dried flowers. Some people like to glue them on. I just don't like to go through all that. So I just take my brush and just try to wet the flower as much as possible. And once it's wet, it does lay pretty flat. And for any pieces that stick up, I just take a tiny bead of clear and kind of just mush it down. <laughs> and just pat, pat, pat and get it nice and flat. Um, so now I'm taking a little bit of clear and I'm putting these gold caviar beads um, just to give it a little bit of flair um, didn't have any rhyme or reason just kind of randomly putting them where I want them to be so once I have all of my items placed the way that I like I'm just going to take a large bead of the long care pretty nails clear acrylic and encapsulate this nail 
So when you encapsulate, you just wanna make sure you use enough clear that you're covering all of your items, all of the glitter, all of the flowers, but you don't wanna use too much clear that the nail starts to look bulky. So you have to kinda keep that in mind. Um, just use enough product to you know cover everything, but not you know where you have a big, thick nail. Um, so yeah, I just encapsulate this and just make sure everything is nice and neat. Moving on to my middle nail, um, this is just going to be a plain nail, so I am just building it up using the Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic. Um, so yeah, back to using my non-dominant hand. Um, some tips that I will give is just to make sure that you're nice and comfortable. Make sure you have a nice sturdy flat surface that you can lay your hand on and you know, just take your time. It's not gonna happen overnight, like just practice. I know that sounds so cliche, but you know, practice really does make perfect. So um, that's just some of the tips that I can give is just, you know, just stay positive and practice. You guys will get it. <laughs> Alright, so for my index fingernail, I am just repeating the same process that I did for my ring fingernail and just putting a thin layer of the clear down and taking more of that turquoise and gold glitter mix and just placing that for my background and you know, just kind of moving the tip of my brush and pulling the glitter where I want it to be. All right, so then I'm just gonna add some more gold foil. And then I'm going to place my flowers. Now, one thing that I do um, have to deal with when I'm working with my non-dominant hand is that I move my hand a lot. <laughs> So I do apologize for that. Like when I'm working, I just tried to move my hand to get it in the area that I need it to be. So yeah, I'm kind of all over the place. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just pat these flowers in place and you kind of want to be gentle. Yeah, I went a little too rough with that flower and the petal came right off. Um, but yeah, so just be gentle with your flowers, but you also want to make sure they're, they're as flat as they can be as well. Um, so yeah, like I said, I apologize. My finger is just all over the place, but you know, I just want to make sure that I'm doing a nice and neat job as well as trying to stay in the camera's focus. So it gets a little difficult. All right. So once everything is in place, I'm just going to go ahead and encapsulate this nail using the Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic. And I don't think I mentioned, but I am using the number eight Alpha Kalinske brush. And I love this brush. It just gives me the amount of control that I need, especially working with my non-dominant hand. Um, it's just a really good brush and I will leave the link down to Alpha brushes down below. All right, so this is after all of the acrylic has set and I'm just going to do my shaping and fouling. As always, I like to start off with my hand file and I just shape up the sides and the tip and do my smoothing over the nail and all of that. Thank you. 
And once I have the shaping with the hand file done, I like to go over my cuticle areas with this safety medium bit from Poochie Snails. And I just work this around the cuticles to make it extra flush. And once I'm done with that, I just take my orange buffing block on the fine side and I just buff the nails until they're nice and smooth. So this is after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed. Now I'm going in with this Nail Nails Urban Graffiti Gel Polish and this is a gorgeous turquoise color and it is called Tropical Beach. And I'm just going to apply two coats of this and I just love this color, it is so gorgeous and it just goes perfectly with this set. So yeah, I did apply two coats of this gel polish and I cured in between each coat. Next I'm going in with the Poochie's Nails Super Shine Gel Top Coat and I'm just going to apply this to all of the nails. And you get to see the flower and glitter nail come to life, it is just so gorgeous. And these tips are really, really nice. Um, I usually don't like to use tips for my glass nails, but these tips are really clear and you cannot really tell the difference and they just look so nice. Ah, uh, just warms my heart. <laughs> So I'll go ahead and cure this in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. I will leave a link down below to this lamp if you guys are interested. So once that's cured, I also put top coat underneath the glass tip nails as well and cure that. All right, so then I apply my cuticle oil. So this is the finished look. I love how these came out. This is just so cute. The flowers, the gold foil, and the glitter just makes everything come together and the glass tips are everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial. Head over to longcareprettynails.com and check out the shop. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will talk to you in my next one.